Yes, I am a pirate. Two hundred years too late. The cannons don't thunder. There's nothing to plunder. I'm an overboarded victim of fate. Living to. Okay, guys. Today I'm gonna be showing you how to tie the Texas rig very warm um, fairly simple rig and very very effective so starting off what you're going to need you're going to need a bullet sinker now these work the best it's not really my opinion it's just how it goes. You can ask any tackle shop, they're going to say use a bullet sinker, it's not my opinion. So, just make sure you get a bullet sinker. You can use other sinkers and whatnot, but these are going to be the most effective. Okay? And then, for the knot, you can just tie a normal old fisherman's knot. Nothing fancy. I've tied fancier knots, and this one works just as good. So, another good thing about this rig is it's, you don't have to learn a fancy knot to do it. Okay? You can see the hook that I use has a high, slight kink in it. And make sure you get the barbs where the kink is. Buy the hooks that have the barbs where the kink is. That'll hold your worm on a lot better okay you can see here fairly wide pray half an inch wide you know all right now let's talk about how you put the worm on now today I'm just going to be using a six inch worm this is just one I have left over I had left over from uh, last Saturday fishing. But um, don't think you can just use these small worms, guys. You can use um, from a 5.5 inch worm all the way to a 12 inch worm on this rig. So don't think you can just use the small ones. You can use any size worm you want. Alright, starting off, what you want to do is you want to get your worm centered up as best you can. You want to slide it on there to the bin. It should look like that. Alright, poke the tip of the hook through. Alright, so it should look like this. And then slide your worm all the way up. Up and over the eye of the hook. Make sure it's good and over that eye. Alright, so it should look like this. Now what you're going to want to do is you want to do flip it around. And this is what it should look like once we're finished. That's that's basically how you want it. That's the perfect rig right here. This is where it's perfectly flat across. And you see your bullet sinker slips right over it. That's what it should look like, guys. Alright? So now, what you want to do is you see how I kind of bend it? That's just to get it back a little bit more so when you slide it up in there it won't have a lot of slack in the worm it'll be pretty tight right so get a little bit and slide it up in there make sure it stays over the eye and now you want it as close to the edge as you can get it make sure it doesn't the tip doesn't come through though you don't want that at all alright and then just make sure the worm stays over the eye of the hook and um like I say this is an old worm so it's not going to work the best it has tons of holes and bass teeth marks in it but um hope this video gave you a pretty good description on what to do um subscribe real fishing tv and I'll keep you posted and updated